this part in formation circle. So we are going to discuss now formation circle. Why we have to understand formation circles? Actually, noun can be uh, names. We understood uh, names of people, place, and objects. Okay. At the same time, we have uh, nouns coming from uh, abstract noun. If you look at abstract noun, it talks about uh, states. It talks about actions. It, it talks about quality. So that quality and actions, these type of noun can be formed. You can create. Okay. So generally, yeah, you have to understand. Even uh, state also will come. And then where you are going to use these nouns, we have understood. Right? Hell, Raja. Uh, this one we don't want now, so we will leave it. You have to understand. Noun and adjective always coming together. And noun will come with the preposition if in the complementary clause. Okay? We discussed it. Okay, this is an exercise. Uh, this one also we don't want, but we have to go for this one. If you look at this, uh, you have to identify these are nouns. Why it is noun? Ends with E double S. Okay. And M E N T. And T I O N. If you look at this T I O N, M E N T, N E double S, these are nouns. Okay. This is one point you have to remember. So, what are the suffix we have? We will go one by one. When you look at this sentence, now you have to put that uh, proper word, uh, proper noun in the right place. Can you see? I would like to provide, provide education. Uh, now you have to put education to my children. So here, provide a verb. Then you need a noun. Provide what? Education. It's a sentence starting provide with subject. Happiness. Yeah, important for our children, important for our children. Happiness is important or we can say education is important. Or we can say development is important for our children. But normally we are telling that education. Happiness. Education Happiness. is important for our children. So here also education is coming and the beginning also coming. So the beginning is coming as a subject. Here it comes as a complementary clause. There is a then, yes, working works going on. So there is a development work works, huh? development works uh, going on. And here is important for a family happiness. happiness. So you have to identify subject. Nouns are coming as a subject. Now you have here book, ice cream, English, and class. You have to use the I want right to read a book. Want to read a book. I want to study English in my class. Yes. I go to class in the evening. I like to eat ice cream now. So you have to put in the right place, the right now. Right. See, look at this now. Educate verb, education, noun, educational adjective. AL we discussed already in the last class. It is adjectives. Now you have to put in the right place. System. Education system. Education system. I have to educate. To direct, direct, we have to verb. Yeah, I have to educate. Is important. We can say start with education. Subject. Education is important. We have to provide. We have to provide education, education to our your children. Why you have put this and provide this verb, then you need a noun. Okay? Verb and noun. Clear now? These are grammar. Yeah. So educational. Educational Edu adjective. Educational, educational, uh, educational department, or we can say education department. Educational, uh, educational program. Okay, you, it's adjective. We Edu don't education. Know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It comes with the noun. Al natural natural beauty. Right. Yes, yeah, Al yeah. natural. So <laughs> Al, then you need to have, you need to have a noun. Uh, automatically, it comes with a noun. So now we have to understand 
differentiate with the between the adjectives and noun. So long is an adjective long with either. a noun. Wide is an adjective with is a noun. So long length, wide width. But you have to put in the right place. River, long river. Then the long river, the length of the river. Length of the river. Very good. Here. Yeah. Wide river. Wide river, the width of the river. The width of the river. Okay. So width mean ahelam. <laughs> long length nula. So long nula mane, wide ahala mane. So you have to put adject these adjectives. Okay. So now we have to understand uh, there are certain suffix showing that these are nouns, represents as nouns. What are they? Uh, you know that man, woman, like uh, one person, okay? A place, it will come as a place, uh, object. These are nouns, okay? And the ER ends with ER also now. And hood is now. Ship is noun. Ness is noun. Ment is noun. Shun, T I O N, is noun. Okay? You understand? So these are the suffix. And there are other suffix also. You can uh, learn from that. These are the suffix you have to remember T I O N, M E N T, N E W S, S I O N, T H. D O M Dom C T Y N C E Ship Hood Ch T U R E Dom. So if you end like this, these are nouns. You have to remember. Okay. Now you can see some example here. Education, protection, T I O. Development, movement, kindness, happiness, poison, pension. Strength, youth, wisdom, freedom, vacancy, privacy. These are nouns. Property, prosperity, finance, obedience, friendship, lordship, childhood, boyhood, departure, nature, future, wisdom, kingdom. So these are nouns. Why we why we are calling these things are nouns? Because there are certain suffix. Clear now? Yeah. Right. Now we are moving to another part. How to formulate nouns. So you can formulate nouns uh, from adjective to noun. Okay. Long. We can say long length. Young youth. Humble humbleness. Decent decency. Dark darkness. Bitter bitterness. Wide width, free freedom, vacant vacancy, sweet sweetness, strong strength, true truth, short shortage, cruel cruelty, just justice, deep death, wise wisdom, high height, brave bravery, good goodness. So you can see there is any the E W S is there, and also T H is there. Okay, um, these are nouns. At the same time, you can add from able ability. Why is there? Prosperity, variety, silence, difference, ANC, ENC, urgency, brightness, laziness, fame, famous fame, beauty, beautiful beauty, punctuality, sincerity, confidence, absence, patience, fluency, greatness, sickness, anger, innocence. So, I didn't tell the meaning here. You have to check with the dictionary, get the meaning. Eh? I don't want to explain the meaning here. I have already explained to you. I have given the dictionary links, get the meaning. Try to understand these are nouns, these are adjectives. Okay, that's the purpose of here. And uh, also, you can bring nouns from verbs. Laugh, you can bring a laugh, laughter, obey, obedience, live life, expect expectations. Excellent, excellence, no knowledge, choose choice, move movement, protect protection, punish punishment, depart departure, decide decision, believe belief, serve service, hate hatred, please pleasure, act action, starve starvation, defend defense, 
think thought advice s e verb c e now advice same pronunciation die death succeed success judge judgment you have to understand success is a noun succeed is a verb judgment is a noun judge is a noun action is a noun uh, act is a verb hatred is a verb no, sorry noun hate is a verb service is a noun serve is a verb so these are the differences you have to remember like relieve relief discover discovery grief grief lose loss loss is a noun chop chip chip is a noun chop is a verb dig ditch ditch is a noun dig is a verb speak speech speech is a noun speak is a verb you have to remember and introduce introduction attend attendance attendance inform information develop development converse conversation bind bond bless bliss prove proof sit seat sing song strike struck stroke and create creation attract attraction profess profession imagine imagination okay like uh, there are certain nouns we are calling that uh, commonly uh, noun it comes as a uh, noun from noun to noun it will come like king kingdom man manhood thief theft bankrupt bankruptcy hero heroism covered covered is friend friendship infant infancy mother motherhood woman womanhood author authorship boy boyhood pilgrim pilgrimage wise wisdom so now these are the things you have to remember uh, generally how to bring nouns from noun nouns from verbs noun from adjectives so formulations of nouns you have to remember and go and check with the meaning uh, use the dictionary type the word and try to understand the sentence structure go and detail learning we will go for countable and uncountable uh, after this uh, i think it's going to disconnect now okay uh, this is okay, what okay, we uh, discuss with you today and we'll continue with that yeah you have any question no sir so far clear yes yeah, sir this is also one of the subject we have to remember